An often overlooked yet essential aspect of Alexander the Great's campaign was the innovative and novel approach he employed to siege warfare. Alexander's ambition could not afford prolonged sieges to interrupt his goal of a far-reaching empire, one that would eventually span 3,000 miles. Therefore, Alexander needed to tackle any rebellious fortress or city with speed, precision and ingenuity to allow him to continue his rapid expanse. Because of this, the outdated and expensive siege tactics of the years past, such as prolonged sieges to starve out the enemy, had to be scrapped and replaced with quicker strategies that could adapt to the diverse terrain of the land Alexander hoped to conquer. For example, according to Thucydides during the Peloponnesian Wars, the sieges of Potidae and Plataea lasted for three and two years respectively, with Potidae's siege costing around 2,000 talents. Clearly Alexander, the man for whose character only the epithet the Great could encompass, had neither the time nor the inclination for such slow-moving projects. Consequently, when Alexander encountered the gargantuan task that was the city of Tyre, he was required to prove himself off the battlefield on which he was so dreaded, and rightfully so. Tyre was exceptionally unique and had proven impregnable. If the accounts of Arian and Plutarch are to be believed, it was positioned a mile from the shore, with walls towering 150 feet tall. Considering the Tyrian fleet was far superior, Alexander first showed his ingenuity through his decision to construct a ginormous mole across to Tyre, equipped with towers coated with fireproof material to protect the poorly armed workers. However, when this first resourceful attempt was foiled by the Tyrian fireships, Alexander illustrated the most important quality of a general in a situation such as this, keeping a cool mind and becoming both flexible and adaptable in the circumstances. Alexander appreciated that in a siege such as this, the control of the sea was integral to his victory. Thus, having solicited the help of Cyprus, Sidon and various regions of Phoenicia, Alexander returned with a fleet of 223 vessels, a moment which turned the tide of the siege. Alexander's famed engineers, the Catapeltafetae, likely Diades or Carius, fashioned these ships with several siege engines. The use of these siege engines is what separated Alexander's 4th century siege warfare from his previous Peloponnesian counterparts. The ship-borne Petraboloi, or Torsion catapults, a 4th century invention, and battering rams put a swift end to the siege. The Babylonian Empire had once spent 13 years at Tyre unsuccessfully, proving the debilitating speed of Alexander's siege warfare, as it took him merely seven months. When one compares the events at Tyre with Arian's account of Alexander's siege of the Sogdian Rock, it becomes apparent that this was not a solitary moment of military brilliance from Alexander. After the defenders taunted Alexander by saying that he would need men with wings to seize the rock, Alexander decided to make an example out of them by equipping his men with tent pegs, ropes and promises of great monetary rewards for the first to reach the summit. They did not taunt again. Thus it is clear that Alexander was willing to substitute the ineffective siege tactics of time gone by for his new style of besieging brilliance. This was a vital aspect for his conquest of Persia and Asia.